Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen and I do apologize for not being on yesterday. I was a little bit under the weather. I just didn't feel like myself. Um, I was stressed out from the day before. I had taken my both of my dogs to the vet and one of them ended up having a seizure and she was in the vet for a long time and it really concerned me because we didn't know if she'd make it or not but she's fine right now and it's I was really I was really stressed out finding out and I had to sit it I had to sit out in the vet's office for two solid hours and nobody told me anything they never updated me or anything so here I am sitting there bawling and nobody cared that that I was concerned about what happened to her um I guess it's as the, as they were as they were taking as they were ready to get her out of the cage from the from the groomers and to put her put her leash in that on her she collapsed and I was at the I was at the um, and welcome to everybody that came in. Thank you. I, I was at the checkout, checking out the, paying for the, the grooming, and one of the groomers came and told me that she had collapsed. So they took her to Banfield with Banfield Hospital, which is right next, right next door. So they took her into the Banfield Hospital, and I sat out there, and somebody they and they asked me who I was, and I told them I was there. But none of the vets or anything, or technicians, came out and said anything to me. They never updated me for two solid hours. Of course, that place was a zoo anyway. Everybody and his brother was coming in with their dogs, with for shots or what have you. And and I and I finally, when I did get called in after two hours, I told the vet. I says, "Well, nobody updated me on anything." I says, "I didn't know how she was doing or anything, you know." And the thing of it was, she was fine. The vet came back in and was ready to talk to me, and I was ready to leave, and she collapsed again. So she collapsed twice, and the thing that is, they're lasting four and five minutes apiece, and that's very, very scary. Um, I have to take her to my vet and find out if she needs uh, what, what's really up because, uh, you know, this is that's really too long. But yesterday and today, she's been fine so far. Nothing has happened, but keep me in your and her in your prayers because I've been really stressed out. Um, yeah, I know, and I and I that's why I didn't come in yesterday because I was all so distraught from the day before. I was just not feeling well, stressed out, and I was I you know I just didn't want to come in and burden everybody with my you know no 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 she hasn't not for the last couple of days, and and I didn't want to burden everybody with what happened. But uh, I thought I'd let you know why I wasn't here yesterday. I'm back again. She's fine right now. Hopefully, knock on wood, but she stays that way. And I'm going to go ahead and share this out while I'm thinking about it. And thank you, everybody, for coming in here and sharing out and inviting your followers. Oh, yes, 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 thank you. Her name is Buttercup. And uh, you know something? I, I prayed really hard to the Lord, you know, and I told the Lord, I says, Lord, take this seizures away from her. And so far, she hasn't had them for the last two days, and she's been real. It's, she's been herself. Oh, I can't connect to uh, Twitter keeps disconnecting me for some reason. She's been, she's been real um, hyper. She's been wagging her tail and barking. So and she's okay for right now. So let's hope she stays that way. Okay. Now, let's get into what you came here for. You came in to, not to hear me talk about my dog, but to talk about what I'm going to make here. Okay. Basically, what this is, is, is a mug. It's, <laughs> it's a muffin in a mug. It's for one person. I thought that... Oh, yeah. She's, oh, she's eating and drinking fine. Just, she's all her whole self. This is a uh, puts uh, be put into a mug, so I'm going to measure this stuff out. The only thing I did I measure I did measure out was the oat flour because I had to. Um, I have a little um, coffee grinder, and I didn't want to get my body mix out for this because I only need a tablespoon. So I just grounded up my coffee grinder because I needed some oat flour. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I'm putting in here as I'm putting it in here, and I have to mix uh, uh, in a small mixing bowl combine the flour, sweetener, cinnamon, and baking powder. Okay. So I'm going to use one tablespoon of coconut flour, and I've got that right, right now. Coconut, oh, here's my coconut flour right here. Okay. One tablespoon. This will be a, a, an easy uh, uh, recipe, very simple. Um, one tablespoon of almond flour. And the thing it was, poor Chewy, he had to stay, he had to stay in the groomers till I got out with her. And I can imagine how he felt. He had, the whole time he had to stay in there. And he was boy was he ever anxious when he got out of there. Ha! Um, one teaspoon, one tablespoon of oat flour. Okay. And if you're if you're paleo, 
some people are, you don't put this in there. So I'll just, because I measured out two tablespoons when I, when I, when I put it in the, th in the thing. And then two tablespoons of granulated sweetener of choice. So I decided to use coconut sugar. I think that's two tablespoons. Yeah, I'll have to do twice two of these. I'm not sure I did enough. And then a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Let me get my. So I need to still. So I need that one. Last tablespoon. I think I got my. I got a sink of dishes I have to do. I just was not up, I just wasn't up to it yesterday to do them, but I'm certainly going to do them today. Let me go ahead and put this back. Okay. Now, um, let's see. Oh, I hate when this thing changes. <laughs> starts moving on me because the ads pop up and everything then my not then my recipe went by went bye bye oh now I gotta bring it back sorry about that I gotta go I gotta go backwards it's 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 <laughs> oh no I do I have to go down this way it, it, I hate that I'm, I did everything on my iPad so I wouldn't have to print everything out so that's why I did this okay there it is um man cinnamon and baking powder and mix well I think I'm gonna take my whisk and I think I'm gonna that a whisk or whisk it, that might do a good, good job. And I have a mug, and I just hope this is going to be big enough. This is what comes with my, my dishes that I got several years ago, Christmas time, and my daughter-in-law bought it for me. She bought me an eight-piece set. Okay, and then add in your egg, which I didn't put egg. I made a, I made a um, cheese or flaxseed egg, so I'm gonna put that in there. Mashed banana, dairy-free milk, and mix until fully incorporated. Okay, I put this in there. I'll get another spoon because I don't want to use that one. Not have to get a, have to get a spoon out of the drawer, so I don't, I don't want to use that one in case I need it. Now add in your mash, mash banana. Here's my. Well, I don't have. I can mash the banana. I'll mash it right now. I should have mashed it before, but I can mash it right now. It's easy to mash. If it's not all completely mashed, it's not a big deal for me anyway. And I didn't really measure the banana out. I figured I just kind of eyeballed it. Supposed to be two tablespoons, so I just it's about, about maybe less than half the banana. So. I see my daughter's in here, Gary's in here, and it uh, looks like Valerie's in here. Who's Ollie in here? I appreciate you guys so very, very much, and thank you for for being here for me and for concerned about me. Because Alexis, she's not in here right now, but she messaged me um, yesterday and asked if I was coming in, and I said no because um, I wasn't feeling up to it. But I didn't tell her why. I, I wasn't feeling very good. But today she messaged me. She said, are you going to be in today? Are you feeling better? So she's caring. So so she wanted to know. And Erlene did the same thing. She's not in here right now. I guess she's probably where she can't come in. Um, okay. And one tablespoon of dairy-free milk of choice. Okay, I'll get that out. I gotta get some. I gotta get some unsweetened. That's sweetened. I don't want that. I don't want to use the vanilla. That's gonna be too sweet. So I need to get some. I like to use the unsweetened in my recipes. I didn't happen to have any. It's always hard to start these things. When they're brand new, they're hard to get everything out at first. So it wants to spill all over. Okay. Oh, there my thing went again. 
Lost the recipe again. Likes to bring the likes to bring stuff up. Okay, come on back here. Uh, that's the only thing ba bad about using an iPad. You got it. You're, you're out of mercy when it starts putting ads and stuff up here. Okay, and two to three. Let's see. Uh, Dry milk and mix until fully incorporated. Fold in the blueberries. Okay, I'm gonna mix this until fully incorporated. to fully incorporate. Fold in the blueberries and ensure there are a few remaining at the top. Okay, and this is how many blueberries it's saying. One half teaspoon of, okay, how much bake, uh, let's see. Two to three tablespoons of frozen blueberries. Okay. You're not going to get much on a tablespoon anyway. <laughs> I'll just put three, calls for two to three, and then I'll just put this back. Alright, there we go, and I'll put these back. Okay, now let me go ahead and mix this. They said leave a little at the top, but I'm sure they're going to get... <laughs> oh yeah, they're at the top. If you can see, it's going to be kind of cute. Now, um, microwave for, okay. Then I'm going to put it in my mug. I don't want to mix it in, I don't want to microwave it in this bowl, so I'm going to microwave it in my mug, because this is what it's going to be eaten out of. i mix this a little bit better. And I'll just kind of stir it around when I get back in my mug. Um, I was looking for mugs this morning, and I happened to think, well, I got this, I got this with my plates, and I'll just go ahead and use it. You want some on the top, so I'll kind of just stir it around. Get a little bit more on top here. I'll bring some more on top. Or actually, I can probably bring get my. I think I'm gonna bring my blueberries out and put some on top, so I have a little extra on top there. It doesn't hurt to have a little more, really. There we go. Now, get some on top. Get my fingers all blue. Huh. I'm going to wash my fingers, get the glue off. Okay. Now, it says to microwave it. For 50 seconds, I believe, or for up, or up to two minutes. Okay, let me do it for a minute. I think I'll do it for a minute, and then I will um, I'll have to get my grip out. Well, I'll put this in here, and then I'll use my grip on it. Okay. I think I'm going to do it for a minute. All right. There we go. So how's everybody doing? Um, I, <laughs> I hate to burden you with my, with my story, but... Um, I was kind of concerned, and I just didn't want to come in yesterday because I wanted to make sure that she was going to be okay. You know, she's sleeping right now, so um, it's hard having an animal that you've had since they were four months old. Hi, Richard. And then to, to have that happen, let me put these back.
Oh. Um, I took my dog to the groomers on Sunday, and as I was, they called me. I was sitting out of my car after I'd done the periscope. I'd like to walk around a little while, but then I go back into my car. So after I, I went back into my car. They called. They had called me from my car because uh, they t t called me on my cell phone. And it was time to go pick them up, so I went in there to go get them. So I, I went back to get the uh, the, sl the sheet that they have of paying for their grooming. So I took it up to the uh, the cash register, and I was waiting in line, and I was there getting paying it. And all of a sudden, one of the groomers came up to me, and she says, uh, "We just thought we'd let you know that Buttercup collapsed, or we think she had a seizure because she was shaking." And I says, "Oh no." So I, I was in the I was in the Banfield Pet Hospital, which is right next to PetSmart, which is in PetSmart, but it's got a, its own separate little little area. And I was in there for two hours waiting to get her back. And three vets were working on her, and nobody told me anything the whole time. And I'm sitting there bawling, and they see me bawling, but they don't even care. They didn't they didn't tell me come out. Nobody come out and told me anything. What was wrong? What they were doing? They had put a catheter in her leg, and they bruised it to it, putting that in her leg. Hi, Alexis, good to see you. And they had put a catheter in her leg, and she was in, you know, bad shape for a while. But when I went back to see her, she was fine. But then a few minutes later, because they, they left me in the room by myself with her, and she was running around, and now all of a sudden she started sitting down in the corner. And when the vet came in, she wanted to sit right by the vet. And I thought, well, that's odd. She's sitting right by the vet. And she went to... She went to look, you know, to, to uh, you know, check her out and everything. She collapsed again, right, right in front of me, and I was, I was terrified. The poor thing, she was uh, panting really bad. Her tongue was hanging out, you know, and so she has seizures. So let me get my stuff out and see how it is. Oh my! <laughs> I could probably do it a little longer. I did it for a minute, but I probably, well, I think I'm, I might put it in another. Oh, you lot of you have pets. So see what this did? This, um, see how it, see how it puffed up? It's supposed to puff up just like that. And it's supposed to be like a muffin. It's, uh, it's in a mug. And this is the, this goes, goes, goes to my place that you're seeing me put my food on. Yes, it is. But, um, use a cake tester, which I don't have. I don't have it. I do have some toothpicks though. Let me try to toothpicks might work. Toothpicks will work. Yes, we do. They're like family. They said up to two minutes on this, and I put it in there for a minute, so we'll see. Nothing's on it, so I guess it's okay. Well, hi, Missy. Good to see you. Yeah, I'll have to for Earlene's party. I'll have to order one from Alexis for Earlene's party. Um, anyway. Oh, it stopped them. See, I hesitate putting her on any medication because I, she's 11 years old. And I think maybe all the, her age might have something to do with it and stress related. But, you know, it stressed me out so bad. And I, I just couldn't. I was shaking, too, and I just couldn't come in yesterday because I wouldn't have been myself. I would have been standing here bawling the whole time. So I thought I just better take a day off and relax and take care of her, watch her, um, and, and just make sure she's okay and so far yesterday she never had any and she hasn't had any today normally I know when she have if she's going to have them because she'll run to her bed and she will cl and I always thought it was the, the vet told me the regular vet I took her to he says, says well maybe that's her it's her leg because they, she has a uh, dislocated knee in one of them and and she can't stand up sometimes and we thought that's what it was uh, but I was I was just I just didn't want to come in yesterday I mean I I hated not to, but I, I wouldn't have been myself. I couldn't have done anything. Um, yes. It, I mean, <laughs> let me tell you, sitting outside in, that, uh, in the Banfield Hospital lobby, those hard benches, for two hours, I was texting my daughter, and I was texting Erlene, and nobody was come out and saying anything to me, and it was getting, my, getting me upset. Uh, now that, yes, that's probably true, too, but she loves it there. She would never tell me to go there. She's excited to go in there because she knows what a, a pet smart is. And she, lo she loves the vet, uh, the um, groomers, and she loves getting her, her, her teeth brushed and, and just groomed all over. So I'm not really sure what it was. 
but it couldn't have happened at the worst time because I, okay, I left the house about a little after 10 o'clock and I didn't get home till 4.30 and I would have been home by 3. I would have been home maybe by 2 o'clock, 2.30 at the latest, but I was not home till 4.30. Uh, and it's, 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 you know, it's, it's really hard, you know, because we love our pets. They're part of the family. And we don't want anything to happen to them. Like I said, I've had her since she was 11, or four months old, excuse me. She's 11 years old now. I've had her since she was four months old. So she's become part of the family. And to lose her would be part of losing myself. So I, I, I want to take real good care of her. Um, yeah, they sure do. They sure, sure seem to forget. But all, you know the thing with his vets, they can charge you like an arm and leg. They really can. They charge you so much, you know. Um, here's what it here's what it looks like, and it's it's done on the inside. Look, isn't that cute? <laughs> a little. And this is for one. And for me, I don't have to worry. I have no, I have no, oh, you know, leftovers. And I can make this anytime. You can easy. You could probably put peaches in it or whatever you want to do. And I thought, well, I'm just gonna gonna make this. And you, today, when Alexis asked me if I was coming in, if I was feeling better, which I thank you very much for Alexis for messaging me and can, being concerned about me because I really shows me that you care. Anyway, I says she asked me if I'd be coming in scope, but or, and even Erlene asked me if I if I found anything to do today. I says, oh yeah, oodles up. I've been looking all day, and I have got probably 25 or 30 recipe saved on here so I can so I have tw so I have at least a month's worth on here right now <laughs> oh okay all right yeah as long as it stays up here for me it's got um, one tablespoon of almond flour in it one tablespoon of coconut flour and I've got one tablespoon of oat flour but those that are paleo you can skip that which I didn't I just took two take um, Two tablespoons of oat flour, and I just went and, and ground, or one tablespoon of oat flour, and ground it up in my coffee grinder. I wasn't gonna get my Vitamix out for that little bit because you have to cover the blade. So I thought, well, I'll just use my 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 coffee grinder, I'm just grind up that one tablespoon, so I don't have to bother, um, you know, measuring it out that way. And then two tablespoons of granulated uh, sweetener, and what I used was coconut sugar, um, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And a pinch of cinnamon, cardamom, I forgot to put that in there. I don't have the cinnamon, but I forgot to put the cardamom in there. But it's just a pinch anyway, so that's okay. Um, and it calls for a large egg. But they say you could also use a flax egg if you're vegan. So I use a flax egg. So anybody that wants to make this for themselves, you can do that. Use your egg. And then I, I oh, there, the recipe flew. <laughs> I'm trying to do this, and then, and then the, it pops the ads up, and then the recipe goes away, so I have to bring it back in. Sorry about that. When you do it on an iPad, you're at their mercy. Okay. And then um, one tablespoon of mashed banana. And I really didn't measure that out. So I just just took some off and, and mashed it up and put it in there. Um, let's see. One tablespoon of dairy-free milk. And I used, and I used, this is what I used, almond milk. And let's see. What else would do? Uh, two to three tablespoons of frozen blueberries. And this is what you get. I added a little extra on the top because most of it started to go at the bottom. They said you want some on top. So this is what I did. I put a little extra on top. I really hate to delve into this because I want to put it up on my Facebook page. Although I could make another one and put that on the Facebook page. But I'm gonna, I, don't, I want to cool it off anyway. And that's basically all there is to it. Now they do have a they do have an oven version as well um, if, you put, if you want to make it in the oven. But I thought this was so cute for one person because just me, I won't have leftovers that way. Uh, Oh, I used it in the microwave. Just put it, I put it in the microwave for a minute, for, for 60 seconds. But I didn't put it in the oven, but they do have an oven version. So this is what's put in the mug. I just put it in everything, mixed everything in my mixing bowl, in my Pamper Chef bowl, um, right here. And then I put it, then I put it in the mug. And I put a little extra blueberries on top. And I put it in the microwave for 60 seconds. And look what I got. Isn't that awesome? And I took the toothpick and stuck it in there, and it's done. So, but they do have an oven version that I will be printing out when I, or putting on in there when I when I get done too. Um, so it's basic, basically do the same thing, but you have to put it in an oven safe dish and bake it at 350 for 12 minutes. So these ingredients here, you put in a bake, baking safe dish. Now, and now, like I said, when I put it on my vegan Facebook page, I will include both methods: the, the microwave and the oven. 
So, because people can choose to do it either way they want. This is the fastest way. My daughter could even do this because she's by herself now that my, my son-in-law is working. And this is ideal for me since I'm by myself, you know, and well, I've been, I found a lot of these today, so I kept a lot of them and I saved them and pinned them. So I'll be doing a lot of those recipes like this in my mug. And they're awesome to do. There's one that I found that I might do tomorrow. And basically what it is, it's vegan meatloaf put in muffin tins. I think there's six to eight of them or something. You put in muffin tins, and you can maybe put ketchup on the top or tahini, whatever you want, and bake it, I think, at 380 degrees. I want to make that. I found that recipe, and I thought, oh, this is awesome. Vegan meatloaf, and it doesn't take any meat of any kind, but you'll, you'll, oh, you'll just have to wait and see when I make it and see if, you're gonna, if, you, if you want to do it yourself. Uh, it's it's going to be real easy to make. It's not hard at all. But this, <laughs> I thought this is so cute. See how, how, come, how cute it comes out in a mug? <laughs> it's it's so cute in a mug, and I use frozen blue froze frozen blueberries. It only took about two to three tablespoons, but then I put a little extra on top because once I got it in the mug, they kind of wanted to sink to the bottom. You want some on top for show, and look at how cute that looks. And I know it's going to taste good. Very very simple to make. Doesn't have anything in it that's going to harm you. And no, like I said, those that are not vegan, if you want it, even Alexis, if her mom wouldn't want to eat one of these, she could eat these for breakfast. Or fix it for herself, although I know she's going to be going on her trip to Chicago. And I want to say right now, Alexis, I know you're in here. I hope you, I hope you have a safe trip to Chicago. I hope your flight is a is a an uneventful one, and you have a good time in Chicago. And please, and when you're in Chicago during the convention, are you going to scope it? Please let us know what's going on, because I like to see when I like to see those scopes. It's, they're inter real interesting because maybe they, we'll get to see something <laughs> we've never seen before. But. Uh, um, I've been in Chicago. Uh, <laughs> I've been to O'Hare International Airport, and I suppose that's where you're gonna you're gonna land. And oh my goodness, that airport you can get lost in it. So be prepared for that if you've never been there, Alexis. It's a really big airport, um, humongous. It's really we re really one that nah, I didn't really like that. Well, another big one that's really big is Dallas, because it's got two terminals. And you have to take a shuttle from one terminal to the next because you cannot walk from terminal to terminal because it's too far apart. They're too far apart. Oh my goodness. That, I mean, well, you know when they say everything is big in Texas, it really is because their airport is humongous. Just really absolutely huge. And that's the first time I'd ever been at a Dallas airport. I remember when my husband and I were going at the time. I don't remember where we were going, but we were going to some kind of meeting. Hi, Alex. Look at my little, <laughs> my little muffin. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's a muffin all for me. And it's, a blue, and it's real simple to make, Alex. And you can put it in the oven, too, if you don't want to do it in a microwave. But I happen to have this cup goes with my plates that my daughter-in-law got me several years ago for Christmas. And I never use these otherwise. Uh, uh, no, it's not oatmeal. I'll tell you what it is, Alex. It's a, it's a blueberry muffin. It's got oat flour in it. It's got almond flour. Um, I think he, he just went away. I'll have to tell him when he comes back. But it's got all good ingredients. I know it might look like oatmeal, but it's not. because it uh, And it did real well in the microwave. I mean, look at that. Can you believe that? And I know some people won't use it, but you see how puffed up it was when I took it out? And that's the way it's supposed to be, just like that. I can't believe that. I mean, I made something so cute. I don't have to worry about leftovers. And I'll probably make more of these like this, you know. I can eat it all in one meal and not have to worry. This would be my dessert because I've already had my lunch. I came in, had my lunch before I came in here. And I did some resting too. So if I seem a little tired, I did a little resting too. And I'm still <coughs> still concerned about her a little bit. Although she's sleeping right now, she's doing fine. Um, but, you know, that is a trying thing to, to um, you know, take your dog to the vet or, or take your dog to the pet smart and don't think like anything like that's ever going to happen to him. And then all of a sudden she collapsed and had a seizure. You know, it was a totally unexpected. But, you know, I think her age is against her. She's not young anymore. Don't know how many more years she's got, but I sure got to value her for the years that she does have. I mean, she can be frustrating at times because she barks like crazy and she drives me nuts if she barks. But that's just her way of letting you know that she's a happy dog, you know. And uh, 
She really is. And when I'm talking to her, she'll just stand there and her, she busts her feet up and down, wagging her tail and just a barking away. And it's so cute to see her do that. That's what she did this morning. I said, how you doing? You okay? And boy, she just barked at me and, and let, her, let me know she was fine. You know, but if you've never had that, I hope you guys never, never, ever deal with that. Ever have something like that happen. That's just why I wasn't in here yesterday. It was just too stressful. I was concerned about her and I was stressed out from the day before. Didn't get much sleep that night because I was concerned about her. And last night I slept a lot better. But Sunday night it was rough because I didn't know if she was going to have one in the middle of the night or anything like that. But thank goodness she didn't. She had nothing the rest of the day when I got home that night. She didn't have any all day yesterday. She hasn't had any today. She's been okay. She's on the couch right now. She's sleeping. So she's fine right now. I just hope it stays that way. She's a real good dog, but she can be she can be a little trying at times too. I'm gonna go see where she's at. This is my girl. This is the one that, that had the seizures. I don't think anybody's ever seen her. She's my other palm. She's a little bit bigger than Chewy, but she's I've had her since four months old, and she's 11 years old, and her name is Buttercup. Say hi to everybody, Buttercup. Let me say hi. And here's the leg that she had the, um, oh, no, not that one. Yeah, this one, she had the catheter in right there. They shaved her down. Say hi. Okay, put you down. I'll go walk <laughs> Yeah, she is. She's, she's, got, she's got her moments, I'll tell you. <laughs> she's a good dog, though, pretty much of the time. Okay, you can go back to sleep. Come on, go lay down. Oh, she's doing what I told you. She's dancing around and wagging her tail. Now Chewy's coming out to see me. <laughs> but uh, that's the one that had the seizures, so I really get concerned. You know, when when they're you know they're part of the family. She's been she's been with me for so long that I would hate to see with, be without her. And I've lost two other dogs, and and from one from um, had uh, diabetes. Happy had diabetes, and Sarah, I still don't know why she died. All I know is I took her to the vet because I was, she was having problems defecating, and she died after that. So I don't know. I really don't know what caused that. But to lose two dogs, and then, huh, you know, come close to maybe losing her too. It just was maddening. Really, really maddening. But she's doing fine right now. Now she's back in here watching me, so she's fine. But Anyway, how's everybody's weather today? Are you hot? I imagine you, that Alexis is probably hot. You go to Chicago, Alexis, you ain't seen nothing. You get to Chicago, it's going to be worse than where you're at. Because I know they've been fighting some heat waves over there. Probably 100 degrees and more. I know on the East Coast they have. We're going, I don't know exactly what our temperature is going to be today. I haven't even checked the weather. But we're not going to be cold, I know that. We're going to be probably up in the upper 80s. Um, it's not too bad right now. Um, 82, that's not too bad. That's better than what you've had, Alexis. You've had it awful hot lately. So 82 is a little bit more comfortable, I would say. Um, <laughs> that's much more pleasant. I don't care for those 90 degrees. Uh, <laughs> you, you, oh, my daughter says they're at 80. Well, that's, sweetie, that's okay for you, too, because <laughs> that's just right, because I know you've had some pretty hot weather lately, too. Um, oh, it just rained? Well, you know... You, that's what it used to do um, when we were in Indiana, Alexis. It would when it rain, it would really cool it down. It does here too. It rains. Of course, it doesn't. It isn't really <coughs> real hot when it rains here anyway. But it'll cool it, the air down. I don't know what it is about rain that cools your air down. It cools it down a lot, but it makes it a lot more comfortable to deal with. I don't like the heat. Um, yeah, it sure is. It most certainly is because you never know from one day to the next what the weather's going to do. It's good one day, you know, it's hot one day, the next day it's cooler. Just like in um, June, believe it or not, I'd wake, I'd wake up in the morning and I'd have to put the heat on in the house. I'm thinking, what? Why do I have to put the heat on in June? And I'm thinking, I've never, ever had to put the heat on in June. It was just, I mean, it would get 45 degrees outside in June. And I think, no, that's not right. So I said, well, it's definitely the end time. She goes, that's never happened before. Because usually when it starts May, June, July, August, those days can get hot. Now, 
I'm hoping we don't have too many hot days left, but unfortunately, August isn't here yet, so August can be a scorcher. It can be a real hot one. It could be hotter than July, but maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be just the opposite. September, we could have some pretty warm days there, too. We can get 90, 95 degrees, but by the time uh, the end of September comes, middle of September, early October, then it starts cooling down. It gets a little bit more pleasant, and then I have to start running my furnace, which I hate because right now without the furnace running my electric is not so cotton picking high but once that starts running again then up goes the fur up goes the heating up goes the you know electric again but you know it is what it is but i am you know i love the summer weather but i don't like it when it's scorching hot because i don't do well it a lot of people don't do well in the scorching heat because it's just too hot i just don't like it i i, I don't mind it a 75 and 80 you know to me if it stays 75 or 80 degrees all year round, or especially in the summertime, hey, it would be nice if we had 75, 80 degrees all year round, but we're not in that, we're not in the area where it's gonna do that. Um, we do get snow, huh. not a lot, but we do get snow, and we can get really cold. But usually in the wintertime here, um, if it gets below zero, it doesn't stay. It's It'll warm up, and, and, then, and then it'll warm, grab the, hi, good to see you, welcome. It'll stay warmed up. But we can get 45, stay 45 all winter long, so which is nice. Here's my uh, <laughs> muffin mug, or it's a muffin in a mug. Um, it's real simple to make. I didn't want to eat, eat it right now because I want to cool it down. I want, I want to eat it cold anyway, so I want to put it on my vegan Facebook page. Um, <laughs> but, it, you know, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's very simple to make. And being that I'm the only one here, I don't have any, any leftovers. This is ideal for any time I have a dessert, make one of these, you know, because I've got everything in the house it takes, your coconut flour, your almond flour, you know, and I have my almond milk, and I had so I put a flax egg in instead of a, instead of a real egg, because they say you can do that. And when this came out of the microwave, it was this high. Of course, it's, it's shrunk down now, and I add a little bit more blueberries on top, because I've used flo frozen blueberries, that's what it's suggested, two to three tablespoons of frozen blueberries. You mix them in, kind of leave some at the top, but by the time... I get it in this mug, they were kind of sunk to the bottom, so I just took a little bit more and added to the top of it. Um, I was saving the blueberries for ice cream, but I can use it for this too. But this is going to be cool, and I already tested it, and it's good, it's good and done. Um, welcome to those coming in, and thank you for coming in and sharing this out and inviting your followers. Um, this is a simple recipe to make. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. Here's my uh, muffin in a mug. I am doing fine now, considering how I was yesterday. Um, you'll have to go back and watch the replay to, to find out why I wasn't in here. Because normally I do I do scopes from Sunday through Friday. Cook it, well, try to do cooking scopes. But yesterday I just wasn't feeling up to up to par, and I was stressed out. So, uh, yeah, isn't that cool? Um, oh, good, thank you. Um, I made, it, made this because... I'm always making things that it takes me a long time to eat them. And I thought, well, this is one meal. And this is like Alexa says, you want proportion sizes anyway. Portion size, that's what I need, portion size. And this will be awesome. You know, I like that. Because I, I, I like to eat something that's simple. And I found a lot. Of, um, how did I make it? Okay. First of all, I took all my ingredients and put them in my mixing bowl. Mixed them all together. And then I put it in a microwave and heated it up. But I'll tell you what it's got in it, as long as my ingredients stay up here. It's got coconut flour in it. It's got almond flour, um, oat flour. Now, if you're, of course, if you're, if you're paleo, they say you can omit that. Um, and uh, granulated um, sweetener, which I use coconut sugar. Um, baking powder, and I use the non-aluminum baking powder. A pinch of cinnamon, but I forgot that, so I so that's not, it'll be okay because it only takes just a little bit anyway. And it calls for a large egg or a flax egg for vegans, so I made a flax egg. <coughs> and everybody knows what that is. It's one tablespoon of flax meal to three tablespoons of water. Uh, <coughs> no, I didn't. I had everything here in the house already. I didn't go to the store today. Let me get some, uh, drink my water. I, I didn't go to the store today. Unfortunately, I had everything I needed before, so I didn't have to go. Normally, I don't go to Whole Foods anyway. I'll go to Walmart because Walmart's got uh, some of the stuff that they've, they've never had before. They're getting a lot of organic, so I buy that stuff. 
Um, and then it's got one um, tablespoon of er, mashed, mashed banana. And I really didn't measure the banana out. <coughs> I just, I, did, I have to go back to this again and took it off. Um, I had to go back to, the, and, and I had to uh, take the banana and just, I just took some off of the banana and, and all this thing. I hate when this does this. It brings ads up and then it goes away. I think it was one tablespoon of mashed banana. I think I had, you know, probably more than that. But anyway, and then you just mash it. And it's got uh, one tablespoon of dairy milk. Um, and I used almond milk and two to three tablespoons of frozen blueberries. That's basically put everything, um, mix everything. First of all, I mixed all the flowers and everything in the sweetener. And then after that, then I added everything else <coughs> except the blueberries. Mixed that real well. Then, then I folded the blueberries in, put them in this mug, and put it on, put it, um, put it in the, in the microwave. It says, uh, microwave it for 50 seconds to two minutes. Well, I decided to try it on one minute to see how it would be. And it's done. Because I stuck a toothpick in it and it's done. <coughs> Excuse me. So it got done on a minute's time. But there is an oven one too. An oven version if you want to do that instead of the instead of the microwave. In case you don't have a microwave, because I know some people don't. So I'll put that down on my vegan page too. Uh cover the bases because I know people and that's only they say in a, an oven safe dish for twelve minutes, which isn't very much. So I don't know why my throat's getting to the best from me. But anyway, this was a lot of fun to make. And I'm sure my daughter's going to try to make it. She's got blueberries. Um, she probably doesn't have the coconut flour and almond flour, though, so I don't know what she's going to do there. But you can get those at um, Walmart has those. I've got, um, I've got both. This is the coconut flour. This is organic coconut flour. So is the, so is the almond flour. It's co it's, it's, and this is non-GMO. I buy it this way because it's a lot easier. And keep it on hand because I never know when I'm going to need it. Uh, oh, I, that's why I figured you don't have, but almond flour is just basically take almonds and you grind them up to make flour. And that's you have yeast. If you buy almonds, you can make your own flour. You can do that too. Oat flour, all you have to have is oatmeal and put them in, put them in a blender or a thing and, and, hi Gabriel, long time no see. Well, and just put them in a blender and just blend them up and, and, and it, uh, you know, and you'll have your flour. I would rather do that sometimes than buy it. Although I've had the almond flour on hand because I use it so much and I use coconut flour so much, I thought, just buy it. But oat flour, no. I've got plenty of oatmeal sitting here. It's just easier for me just to take the oatmeal and put it in the, in the Vitamix if I'm making big quantities, which I am not. I just made a small quantity and so I use my uh, coffee grinder. It's a very small thing. I bought it at Winco a while back. It works well. For small quantities, I just put the tablespoon in there I needed, ground it up, and I and I put it in here, and it worked out. Hi, Sharonda. Look at my little muffin in a mug. Isn't this cute? Blueberry muffin in a mug. It's gonna taste really good. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna eat it yet because I want to put it on my vegan Facebook page. I want it to. I want it to look nice for my vegan. Of course, I could eat it and make another one for my Facebook page, but I would rather just save this one for my Facebook page so people can see. Because I don't want. I don't. It doesn't matter if you eat it hot or cold anyway. But it is cute. I only made it because um, I made it because since I'm the only one here, I won't have any leftovers. And I was, I was having fun today, people, looking for recipes. I've been looking for recipes all day. So what I did is after I found one, I saved it, pinned it to a board. Now everything is on my iPad, so I have got probably 25, maybe 30 recipes that I've I've got pinned on on uh, my iPad that I can make. So I'm trying to get ahead. I'll probably do, still, still do some tonight and do some in the morning. Because I had, <laughs> this was funny. I, I started saving some last night before I went to sleep. But I forgot to pin them to a board. So they were gone this morning. I thought, where'd they go? I'm a little bit more relaxed than I, than I, than I was yesterday. That's why I didn't come in here yesterday. Yesterday I was, I was all stressed out. I, I had a headache. I wasn't feeling well because of the situation I had gone through on Sunday with my, my dog. And... I was concerned about her and what was going to happen because I didn't want anything to happen to her. So I was stressed out and I wanted to make sure that I was there for her and that she was going to be okay. And so far, she has not had any all day yesterday. She has not had any today and I'm hoping that she doesn't because I don't want to have to take her to the vet and get 
uh, medication for her because I know that's she's going to have to take it the rest of her life, and that could be expensive. And I, you know, and her being 11 years old, I don't know how many more years she's got. I don't want her to go, but you know, her life and our lives, you know, we never know. You know, they're not permanent. We're, you know, so it could go any time. So I just try to keep her uh, safe, uh, take good care of her. Has any what? Um, what what do you mean? Uh, she has. What what do you mean? Um, as I, I'm, <laughs> anyway, I didn't. I don't want to have to go to. I don't want to have to go to go to the vet and, and get the. Oh, the dog. She doesn't have. Um, she 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 did. Oh, oh oh, I know what you're asking. She, she I took her to the vet. Uh, took her to the groomers on Sunday. I'll go to the story for those that are just in here. Took her to the groomers on Sunday, and I. And I was out in my car doing things on my phone and what have you. And when they called me to come in and get them, I went and paid. I go, get, I go get the sheet to pay first so they can get the dogs and get their harnesses and stuff on them so I can go. So I was at the, at, at the cash register getting ready to pay. One of the groomers comes to the cash register and she says, I just thought I'd let you know that we had to run Buttercup over to Banfield, right next door to PetSmart, because she, she uh, collapsed and had a seizure. And I says, oh, no. So here I am sitting there outside of the you know just in the lobby part of it but you can see people walking through pet smart you know and you can still walk into pet smart and stuff and i was sitting there for two solid hours nobody told me anything i knew nothing i didn't know what happened i knew they were all i knew is they had put a catheter in her there's three working on her that's all i knew but nobody came out and told me anything if she was stable or i think one did tell me she was stable but that's all they said but they didn't tell me what else was wrong and here I am sitting there almost bawling, thinking, come on, people. And I told the lady, I says, this is not right. I want to get home. I do not want to be staying here like this. I want to get my dog, and I want to go home. She says, I know you do. I says, I know it's not your fault, but this is crazy. I says, I'm sitting here for two solid hours. And I, I really got angry. And I says, I've been sitting here for two solid hours or so. And I says, nobody's saying anything to me. This is not right. Not one doctor came out and said one thing to me. And it wasn't until... They were all caught up with all the patients they had, with all the dogs they had to take care of, that they finally uh, called me in there, and then they left me alone with her for a few minutes, and she was fine at the whole that time that they left me alone with her for maybe five minutes or so. And then she started acting real weird again. She went over in the corner and sat down, and when the vet came in, she went over to buy the vet stool and sat down by her. Um, Hi, good to see you, welcome. She sat down by the vet, and I said, well, you made a friend in her, you know, and she was real frisky and everything. and. We went, I went, went, got up and ready to leave, you know, and she collapsed again. She started shaking again, so she, they ran her back into the other room, and um, it took, I guess she, she was, uh, she had the seizure for five minutes. So they brought her back to me when she, when it, when it was finally through, they wanted to make sure that she could get back up and she could walk, and I was, I was so concerned. That's why I didn't come in here yesterday, because I was afraid that something like that would happen during my periscope, and I didn't want it to happen. So I stayed off, and I was stressed out from the day before anyway. After being in that um, place and not telling me anything, I mean, it's unfair. But one good thing about it, and this is a, and it's a blessing, I didn't have to pay a thing, because since she collapsed in the groomer's office or in, in the part where the groomers are they covered the cost i didn't have to pay for any of it because i was concerned what is this going to cost me now because there's three vets working on her you know they're examining her and they're putting the catheter in and you know if they give her any medication you know what's this going to cost me but when she when the vet came in and told me it's not going to cost me anything oh i praise the lord i was so happy for that but she said if it if it were to happen at another time like today or some other and i and then I would have had to pay. Of course, I wouldn't have gone in there anyway because I got my own vet. But I thought that was awesome because, you know, that's always a concern when you have to pay vet bills because they are not cheap, let me tell you. I've had many a time where I've had to take my dogs to the vet and had to pay an awful lot, and I don't like that. I don't have to, I don't like paying four or $500, but you know it mounts up so fast. It really does. Just one medication can be a couple hundred, but the last time I took Buttercup in, she had her she had a complete exam, and at that time they, they didn't find anything wrong with her. They didn't find no seizure problem or anything like that. But I guess it's like people. 
they just come on all of a sudden and she seems to know when they're coming on she she just because she just falls flat she don't one day when i was walking her i thought maybe it was a new this is before i knew it was a seizure she collapsed on the, when i was walking them and she couldn't get up and walk and i tried to get her to walk and i couldn't so i picked her up and carried her for a few minutes and then she went down and then she started walking i thought maybe it was her knee out of place because that's what the vet said well that's what it's not that at all she, she was having a seizure but she walked fine yesterday she walked fine today no problem she looked around turned around looked at me wagged her tail and and was real happy she's been a real happy dog today been doing a lot of barking so i think she's going to be fine i prayed to the lord about it and i says lord take that sir take that um away from her take those away from her because she doesn't she doesn't deserve to have them you know because i don't i, I don't like that when, when when you know humans get them let alone animals you know and i tell him please take them away from her so so he evidently did you heard my prayer because she hasn't had any for two days although when she did have them before she'd only have them maybe have them once a week they wouldn't last just a few little bit and then back she back to herself again but yesterday was uncommon to have them twice twice in one day and within a, within about 10 minutes of each other that wasn't good you know so or maybe actually no it was actually longer than that because when they first the first one they took her in there it was over two hours before she had the second ones but still that was still uh two two in one day was an awful awful lot and, and well first one i guess was four minutes then the second one was five minutes so they were getting longer you know and that's scary so i should probably go to her take her to the vet and get some blood work done on her you know that's what they're, they're telling me to do but i hesitate doing that because they, the vet doesn't want me bringing, any, bring, bringing her in unless something really happens, unless a seizure is going on at the time I bring her in. Well, by the time I get her there, the, 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 it would be over anyway. But I can understand that because they want to make sure that there's something really wrong because they're a good vet. They don't, want to, they don't want to charge me for things that, <coughs> that she may not have. So they said, don't bring her in unless there's something really, really wrong and she's having a seizure or, or something else is happening. Then bring her in. So that's what I'll do. But anyway, I'm glad I'm doing a lot better. I'm not so stressed out. I can come in here and do this. <coughs> I'm going to get off in a little bit so I can do my dishes. And, uh, yeah, you know, you're right. Um, from Ban yeah, from Banfield, I could, I could have, uh, Banfield, yeah, I could have the, my vet contact Banfield Hospital because the paperwork would be there and they could, they could get it from them because, uh, they, they have all the information as to what went on, if they, you know, they gave her anything, you know, or whatever. I know there is such a th thing as anti-seizure medication, and I know that probably would call, would help her, and she wouldn't have, but to have to take it the rest of her life, it's just not, you know, I don't like that idea. And, and like I said, she's 11 years old. I don't know how many more years she's got. I want to make her years pleasant, of course. I don't want her to suffer. But I don't feel like paying a lot for medication that may not do her good and it may not help and she may end up you know going dying anyway because of her age so I, I'm a little leery of that so I want to be very careful you know I don't want to I don't want to upset the apple cart and do any more than I have to do but I want to keep her I want to keep her safe too I don't want anything to happen to her but you know I'm at this point now where I'm really not sure what to do um, I know it's it's dangerous to let them go too long without um, being helped but she hasn't had them for the last two days and I pray that she's not going to get them. So I think I'm going to go for now so I can put this up on my Facebook page and eat it because this is, this is calling to me to eat it. So I'll come in tomorrow with another recipe, one of those recipes I saved again today. And I may do the, the uh, uh, meatloaf again, meatloaf tomorrow, and then again I may do something else. I really haven't decided. It's not set in stone. So don't, so don't um, huh, say I, I said I was going to do it and didn't do it because it's not really set in stone. I haven't really, really decided. So with that being said, I thank you all for coming in, the live viewers as well as the replay viewers later on. I'm going to make this my final shot. I hope you all have a great and marvelous day. And until we meet again, take care, God bless, love you all, and bye-bye.